Hello everyone, Attack1421 here, welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal, my no Pokeball run. In the last episode, we got our 8th Gym Badge, we also got a new party member, Dratini, I'm super excited about that. He's going to be a very, very important member of the squad. And off screen, I managed to get the XP share, you go to Cherry Grove City, the second city that we went on our journey. And you go to Mr. Pokemon, you give him the item that Red Gyarados dropped, I, it's a red scale or something like that. And you give that to Mr. Pokemon in Cherry Grove City, a little bit north of Cherry Grove City. And he gives you the XP share. So, Dratini has the XP share, only level, I, I, I leveled him up like maybe once or twice, so he's like level 16 or 17 now. Uh, level 7, no, level, where is he? Level 16. Uh, so I only leveled up once. So, but he has XP share, so he's going to be getting a lot of experience. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go to uh, Eucharist. Uh, I can never pronounce the name of this town, but this town right here, city, Eucharistic City. I don't know how to say it. It doesn't matter. We're going over here, and we're going to be facing Suicune in this episode. So. Uh, we, we cannot get Suicune because we cannot use any Pokeballs, but what we can do is we can battle Suicune. So you go over to Tin Tower over here, and this guy blocks your way, and you have to talk with him. He's like, a, mem a momentous event has occurred. Uh, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah, the sound of the clear bell. It, it's sublime. I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the barrier's soul. Uh, you, you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on. All right, so we get to go on to further into Tin Tower, which is awesome. Uh, we've been to Tin Tower before, but not like this. So you have three elders right here. They got to battle all three of them to show them that you're worthy of battling Suicune. So, uh, this guy is the first one, and we have to battle him. Uh, we, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside. Okay, so Suicune is inside, but we have to show our worth first. So we got two Pokemon here. We got a Noctowl, and this is the first Pokemon. Level 32 Noctowl. We do not have Ice Punch anymore, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to use Cut. And that's not going to do very much, but it's going to be a three hit KO. Peck's not going to do anything, so we don't have to worry about it too much. We just keep on cutting away and kill Noctowl eventually. Foresight! Not the greatest move. There's there's some moves in the Pokemon game, I just, I just don't understand why they're moves, so... Foresight is one of them. Uh, 555 for Fraligator and 555 for a Dragtini. Dragtini grew to level 17. All Dragtini's stats are pretty similar. Uh, the attack is going to be the big one. And I hope. And the speed uh, is the lowest besides defense. So hopefully the speed continues to increase. I kind of forget what Dragonite's uh, final speed is, but it's pretty good. And plus we have extreme speed, so we don't have to really worry about that too much. Uh, next up, we got Flareon. So we're going to go ahead and stay in. Sage Goku. Uh, Gaiku? I don't know. Something like that. We're going to go ahead and Surf. And Surf is going to hopefully kill. We will find out. Level 32 Flareon. Flareon it has a pretty cool sprite, but uh, I use. Oh, wow. He managed to live. Uh, I use Flareon in my Pokemon Fire Red, Fire Only run. My Monotype Fire run. I use Flareon. You get Eevee early on in that game, and I evolved it into a Flareon. Uh, okay. So, Fraligator is going to grow to level 38, and he wants to learn Slash, but he can only know four moves. I'm gonna get rid of Bite, because Slash is actually a pretty decent move. I feel like we don't really need Bite too much. Uh, slash has a high critical hit chance, which is fantastic. Um, what I might do is I might go to the move deleter and get rid of Cut, 
and try to teach cut to someone else on my squad. Uh, because Frowliator is really the only one that can learn any type of water moves. So that's kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to have to teach Whirlpool, Waterfall, and Surf to my Frowligator. So uh, he's only going to have room for like one other move. And I think that's going to be Slash. I don't think I'm going to learn Hydro Pump. Um, I, I think Slash is the way to go. Um, yeah. Alright, first up, we got another Noctowl for this other Sage. We're going to send out Fralligator again, and we're going to see Slash in motion. It's a very, very simple animation. It's basically the same as Cut, except instead of one Slash, there's two, for lack of a better word. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to Slash again. And we're going to kill this Noctowl. There's a crit. High critical chance, as I said. 555 for Frowligator. 555 for Dratini. Dratini grows to level 18. Very nice. Next up is Jolteon. Jolteon, eh? We will go into... Who? Togetic. Actually, that's a terrible idea. What am I doing? Let's hope that Jolteon doesn't have a uh, Electro-type move. Like my Jolteon doesn't. We are going to use Fly. Thunder Shock, that might kill us. Probably will kill us. Oh, we lived. We lived! I knew you could do it, Togetic. There's no hesitation. There's no doubt on my part at all. Fly does absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's use Mud Slap. Thunder Shock. It's gonna hurt. So it's a four hit KO, so we can live another one. As long as it's not a crit. And we're gonna lower the accuracy of Jolteon. So so we take and hopefully live. Thundershock is gonna miss. Woo! We're gonna use Oh, Thundershock hit that time. And we live. Mud slap. And a critical hit! Critical hit mud slap. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. We're gonna use metronome. Metronome, earthquake, absorb. That doesn't do much. Doesn't do not much for me. Come on, miss, miss. Ah, darn it. Okay, well, token tick is down for the count. Fortunately, uh, I'm gonna go into Dratini. and let's see if a. Ex, ex, uh, extreme speed kills. It does not. Sand attack is gonna miss. And it's another extreme speed. Quick attack. How is that a faster? I thought I think extreme speed has a higher priority than quick attack. Oh well. Nonetheless, we do manage to take on that thing. Uh, Jolteon. We are gonna go to level 19, which is great. Got a lot of experience from defeating that Jolteon. With the help of Toad Tick, of course. And then we have a one more master sage person. Um, so that we have to take on here. And my guess is that they have the third and final EV evolution of Generation 1. And my guess is that he has a Vaporeon. Vaporeon is pretty good. So if he does have a Vaporeon... It's pretty strong. I uh, don't know what we're going to use against a Vaporeon. If the Sage has a Vaporeon, that is. Sage Ko, uh, Kojai? Koji. Something like that. Sent out another Noctowl, which, let me guess, level 32. And let me guess, it's going to give us 555 XP for both my Fralligator and my Dratini. That's a critical. No, it's not. That's not a critical. <laughs> Just did a lot more damage than it did to the other one, for whatever reason. Slash probably won't kill. It will not. And we'll go ahead and finish this thing off with Rope Because why not? It has like one HP left. Cool. Alright. 555, as I predicted, and 555. Cool stuff. Next up is a Vaporeon. Look at those projections. Cannot mess with Tat1421 and his predictions. 
Um, normally I'd go into token tick here. We are going to go into our Alakazam. Our new Alakazam on our squad. Pretty excited about having Alakazam along with us. We're going to use Psychic. Psychic is going to do a little more than half. Sand attack. Don't like to see that. Do not like to see the sand attack, but it's there. We're going to use another Psychic. And I'm thinking of getting rid of Future Sight. Because I don't really see a point to using it. Uh, you know, why don't we just use Psychic all the time? It's kind of my, my thing. Uh, if we're going to use a Psychic attack, we might as well use Psychic. So, uh, we defeated the final Sage member here. You! Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the wise trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess, or who possess the power and soul of truth. Please do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. So, in Pokemon Gold, you have uh, Ho-Oh. Um, but in this game, you got, you got Suicune. And I think uh, the other two legendary Pokemon kind of get left out of the hunt here. They kind of get the short end of the stick. Raikou and Entei. Suicune has his own, like, game. And Raikou and Entei uh, just kind of sit there and follow. So here's Suicune. Suicune has an awesome sprite in this game. Uh, it's also the cover th uh, of my thumbnail. So, yeah. Uh, we have, we probably should have switched into a different Pokemon, but it's okay. Fraligator can go ahead and take this thing on. Suicune is going to be level 40, which is really cool. Uh, you could go to Professor Oak, or not Professor Oak, Professor Elm, and get yourself a Master Ball. If you really want to, after you get uh, the, your 8th gym badge. and But I'm not going to do that, because I'm not going to use any Master Balls. I don't use any Poke Balls. So we're not going to go to Professor Elm. We might actually go to Professor Elm, but we might just like not get the Master Ball. Or, or we might just throw it away. Or I don't know. It's going to be the first time ever that I'm going to be like throwing away a Master Ball. So it's going to be really weird. So normally this would be a really great opportunity to throw a Pokeball at Suicune, but nonetheless, I'm going to finish it off with Surf, because I feel like it. Suicune is an awesome Pokemon, I really like Suicune. My question of the day is, what is your favorite legendary dog out of the three? So you got Suicune, you got Entei, you got Raikou. My favorite is probably Raikou. Um, I, for, for a lot of the Pokemon that have... Uh, like legendary birds, legendary dogs. I, I like the electric types for whatever reason more than the the water and fire types. Um, I don't know why. Uh, Entei has its own movie. Suicune has its own game. Raikou, what does Raikou have? You know, he doesn't really get anything, as far as I know. So uh, that's that. We we defeated the Suicune there. Awesome, too awesome even. I've never seen a battle that great. Really. That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were even more incredible, Tack. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me the, that fantastic battle. Later, Tack. See ya! Alright. Uh, what are these guys doing here? Are we going to talk to them? Let's talk to them. What does this guy say? According to legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commute, commune, from the heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Could it mean the legendary Pokemon are testing us humans? I don't know. When the brass tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic, however... A rainbow-colored Pokemon, in the other words, Ho-Oh, descended... See, he's the only one that's ever said Ho-Oh. All, all the other trainers and stuff all say, The rainbow-colored Pokemon, or whatever, uh, descended from the sky and gave new life to the three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That is what they say. So, yeah, that's, that's what legend says. Um, 
the two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship and hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important today. All right. So that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. We went to Tin Tower. We defeated Suicune. We defeated all the three of the trio sage people. And, uh, yeah, we got that done. So that's just like kind of like a main quest thing. You don't have to do if you don't want to. But it kind of is part of the main storyline. Uh, you should do it. Um, if You know, you should take it on, Suicune. It is the Pokemon that's on the cover of the game. So might as well face that Pokemon and try to catch it for yourself. Unless you're doing a no Pokeball run, which is what I'm doing. And hopefully you enjoy this episode of that no Pokeball run. I'm Tac1421 signing off. Until next time, take it easy everyone. Peace.